Okay, I've noticed a mistake here and I apologise for anybody that um, had tried to do this question. Originally, this was supposed to be changed. So it was cos theta, it should be tan theta. So if you've tried this question from the classroom and not got anywhere, that's why this is what it should look like. Okay, so let's work through it. We know we've got a geometric sequence. So the first term, we usually call A. And then the next term, we take that first term and we multiply it by something. So we call that R to be the ratio. And the third term will be the second term multiplied by that R again. So the connection between them is the second one divided by the first one is the same as the third one divided by the second one. Because in both cases, you've got AR over A, you were left with R. AR squared over AR, you're left with R. So let's solve this. We're going to multiply that up. That gives us tan squared theta equals 0.9 sec theta. Um, and tan squared, we know that 1 plus tan squared from our identities equals sec squared. So we know that to be the case. Um, so now what we're going to do is we want tan squared, which is sec squared theta minus 1. That's 0.9 sec theta. We want to make it look like that. We know that 0.9 is the same as, and we could rewrite it as, 9 over 10. And then we can multiply everything by 10. And when we do that, we get 10 sec squared theta minus 10 equals 9 sec theta. Move everything onto one side, and you've got the solution. Now, you just use your calculator. So in your calculator, go to your polynomial, and you're literally just going to type in the coefficients. So 10 minus 9 minus 10. And you will end up with sec theta equals. You don't need to show workings for this step. 1.5466. Or you're going to have sec theta equals minus 0 0.6466. Now we know sec theta is the same as 1 over cos theta. So we've got to do 1 over our answers to get what we need. So if we go 1 divided by, 1 divided by 1.5466, we get 0 0.64 make that 7. Now for sec, for, mi for a minus 0 0.6466, if we do 1 over cos, we're going to get a number larger than 1, which is we don't want that. When you divide by a fraction, you're going to get a large number on top. So you're just going to put not valid. And then you do inverse cos of 0 0.647. And we get 49.684. If we have a look, we want it in that interval. So to one decimal place, that's 49.7 degrees. Now we want to prove that it's convergent. So we've done, oops, we've done part A. Um, we're now going to do, we've done part B as well, because we found the interval. And now we're going to do part C. To prove that, we want to find the R. Now, we know that R is either that or that. It's probably easier to put the right-hand side in. So 0 0.9 over tan 49.7. And so 0 0.9 divided by tan 49.7. And I get 0 0.7632. So, so. And we know that this number is less than 1 and greater than minus 1, you probably do that as a separate line, therefore convergent. Okay, now for part D, you're just sticking into it, this formula, which you're given in the formula book. So we know that A is sec theta, so we can do 1 divided by cos 49.7, which gives me 1.5. 
divided by 1 minus my r, 3, 2. And when I do that, I get, so 1 minus 0.7632, I get 6 point six divided by 1 minus 0.7632. Sorry, I'm doing it at the same time. So we get 6.528 dot, dot, dot. To two significant figures, that'd be 6.5, and that would be your sum to infinity. Hope that's useful, um, and apologies for the mistake on this question.